Hello, thank you for joining me today. This is the second part of how to transfer an image onto a rock, a stained glass image of an angel in particular. Um, the first part of the video I will link below um, and I will show you how I got this far. Um, this is my rock, it's kind of an unusual shape, it's a triangle in some way. Um, and what I've done so far is I've painted my rock white um, with acrylic paints and used a piece of transfer paper to transfer the image of my angel onto the rock. And that's all included in the first part of the video in part one. Now I'm going on to part two. Um, so for reference, if you want to do this project, just refer to part one first and follow the directions. Um, so in this part, all I'm going to do is go over my painted rock with my Deco Art paint pen. It's an opaque paint pen. Um, you can get these online at Amazon.com. Um, I usually get them at AC Moore, but AC Moore is going out of business. And I don't really think they carry them at Michael's, but I was able to get um, a nice supply on Amazon. So um, I'll, I'll link that below if you want to try this project. Um, these are great pens because they allow you to just fill in the white parts of your rock and give it sort of a smooth finish so that you can paint over or add colors to the rock easily with markers, uh, Sharpies, paint pens, anything like that. You don't have to use a paintbrush and water and acrylic paints and make a big mess. You can do this sitting in a, in a room anywhere, pretty much. Um, it is real paint and it comes out very nicely as you can see. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, it takes um, a few minutes to dry and it's a great way to apply color to a rock without all the mess and um, getting involved with brushes and things like that. I like to paint in my room, <laughs> so I'm kind of, I don't have a craft room at the moment, so it works out really well for me. Um, and I'm just doing this as I sit at my desk. said you can just color with it. Um, and the reason I do this is because when I'm adding marker I don't really want to add it on top of acrylic paint. This is an oil-based paint so it comes out very smooth and shiny and the colors from the markers adhere very well to it. And then when I'm done coloring it, I'll just go over my lines with my black Sharpie. And seal it with an acrylic sealant. So in my other video, I had only added the angel. I put some background onto this rock. Um, I printed out a picture that I wanted to add of irises and mountains and trees and I just placed them around the rock and adhered them and used my transfer paper to transfer them on and get the initial outlines. Um, I think I typed in to Google Tiffany stained glass and then clicked on images and that's how I found these pictures. Then I download them into a Word document. All of this is in the first video um, for your reference. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where I get my images from, and I just create from there, just make it my own, add whatever colors I want, this is the tree, it came out kind of weird, so I'm just filling in and making it solid, I'm not going to make this too long, 
but you can get the general idea of how to use paint pens and artwork. enjoying this music. It's called Always and I don't know, it's just piano music, but it's beautiful. I figured I would put it on in the background. Okay, I'll be quiet now so you can enjoy the piano music. This is a broadline marker, in case you're interested. I do believe they come in fine line and be a, maybe chisel tip too. And they do come in all different kinds of colors. So if you wanted to use pens like this to color in the whole thing, instead of using um, paint pens like I'm going to use.